Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number 5. Okay, the previous episode, um, it was uh, divided into two parts. The first part was uh, Rin with her usual problem of being unable to use machines properly and her actually struggling to uh, record uh, an episode and Archer kind of making fun of her <laughs> and getting beaten up by the end of it. So that was that and then the next part was how shiki and um shido both of them were like you know making plans on how to um <laughs> how to make everybody happy you know and how to do that like in a matter of a few moments for shiro i think it's a lot more achievable because you know shiro has three heroines unlike shiki who has like five of them so <laughs> And then there was like a little poll in the end. They were like, so what do you want? The harem route or the true heroine route? <laughs> so yeah, I'm, gu I'm guessing as far as I can remember, they actually chose the harem route. And in one of the upcoming episodes, we're probably going to see that. As I said, like, you know, as far as my memory goes, there was an episode like that. So <laughs> yeah. So anyways, let's get started with this episode. This is episode number um episode number five so yeah without further ado let's get started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go distortions Whoa! What is he doing here? Oh my god. <laughs> it's not your shop. Great. <laughs> what a man. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... I think this episode is, is that episode where Berserker goes on errands? I think so, as far as I can remember. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's starting. Sharing tables. Oh, wow. Wait. Oh, he has curious voice actor. This guy, I don't remember his name. He's from Tsukihime. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow okay well that was something open for business oh the whole berserker situation <laughs> man oh here we go Okay, I remember this. Like she, she's like, Bazaka, go get me batteries. 
Baza ka. In a loop. <laughs> First errand. <laughs> I love the narration in this. <laughs> I love the narration in this. Oh, this shit's keeping an eye on. Lacerit. Okay, that's her name. I forgot that. Lacerit and... Whoa. Gilkun the prankster. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Gilgamesh defeated. <laughs> oh, he just threw it away. <laughs> okay. Oh, Kulin with his uh, fishing. It's a dog. <laughs> Bazakako loves dogs. <laughs> yep, that's just him playing. <laughs> Two hours later. He's playing with... Um... Oh my god. <laughs> forgot that <laughs> oh my god oh assassin defeated <laughs> oh no run rider oh my god <laughs> rider defeated <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually imagining like you know the narration like Bazaar is actually thinking those kind of things oh boy <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Saber defeated. Well, so Bazakar wins the Holy Grail war. Is there anyone left? Assassin is left. Lancer is still left. <laughs> oh my god read the note okay <laughs> but isn't it too late oh my god Oh, but it's okay. It's twenty four 
Mm. Okay. Just jump. Oh yeah, Caster is left. I forgot about her. Well, Caster defeated. <laughs> oh yeah, Arthur is left. <laughs> Probably shopping for Rin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a saw spinning blue lancer. <laughs> Why are you getting a flashback? Why? <laughs> oh my god, Lancer suddenly got a flashback. Archer defeated. What about Lancer? Lancer is still. Okay, there you go. Lancer defeated. Oh, Lancer dead. Okay. Lancer again died. Oh, there you go. The Holy Grail. The, or battery, whatever. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a failure. Oh. <laughs> yep, that's a holy. Okay, so yeah, that's the wish that. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> that's the wish of the Holy Grail. Okay, the. I always forget the name of this. Phantasm Moon. Hmm. What the? <laughs> Panther Tap Young Man. Sasaki Soulsmith. <laughs> Oh, one seventy four. Oh, my God. Wait, no, uh, Ali, what was that? Alleyway, that one? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Uh, I, I, I kind of had a vague recollection of the whole Bazaka's episode, this episode, and because obviously it was so funny. And <laughs> like when I, uh, <coughs> when I watched it, there's quite a few things I probably did not get, you know, like the whole, um, I think I understood the Lancer is dead, that Lancer is dead meme. And the whole thing, but there are probably a few things I did not understand at that moment. <laughs> but yeah, this was funny still. Like, <laughs> thinking, like, you know, thinking about it properly. It's so, <laughs> so weird to see like Heracles, that mighty Heracles actually, you know, doing these type of things for Ilya. <laughs> All right, then. Is this the real one? Yep, the real thing. Dietrise giant portion. My god. Oh! My god! <laughs> so 
Tag mo sa mga sakura. Oh my god, that was chaotic. Okay. Alright, so this episode here, um, uh, this is a fairly straightforward episode because from the beginning we see um, Baza Kakun go on, on an errand, the first errand. And <laughs> as I said, like the thing that actually really, like, you know, made this so much funnier is the narration, you know, like <laughs> the narration was kind of talking it as if like everything that was Baza, Bazaka thinking, the narration was like, like, you know, narrating that the narrator was narrating that. And the way the narration went, the way she was talking, you know, she was like, oh, Bazaka Kun found a friend. Bazaka Kun, uh, Kun is uh, playing with the dog. Bazaka Kun is, you know, <laughs> did not forget his friend in the end. All that stuff, you know, the way, in a, such a happy manner, she was explaining the whole situation, narrating the whole situation. That's the... <laughs> That's the most comedic portion of this whole thing. And seeing ba Basaka do like, you know, weird stuff here. And <laughs> like, what can I say? And so obviously here, it's kind of like, you know, like a, a holy grail war, you know, all the different servants come, they get defeated by Basaka. And in the end, Basaka wins the holy grail war. And... <laughs> And um, like you know, the wish that they wish upon the Holy Grail is um, batteries. Um, unfortunately, it's not even the right one. <laughs> My God! So, so they basically oh great. And Ilya, at the end, Ilya did not really understand what was happening when she realized that that was actually the Holy Grail. She's like, wait, don't go. <laughs> but the wish has already been made. And she's like, okay, like, you know what? At least I got a battery. And then she looks at the battery and she's like, wait, that's not even <laughs> what I wanted. <laughs> My God. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's one thing. Another thing is like, um, now here's one thing. Uh, Lasa's uh, dress. This is like a very, I have to say, like, it's like an iconic dress. It, it, I think this is the, the dress that he wears here is the uh, one that he wears in, um, what was the name? Uh, hollow ataraxia and i remember this like it's been also been a while i've played hollow ataraxia and i remember that there was a scene like this where lancer is you know like fishing <laughs> with this dress uh, wearing and i don't remember the specifics but hollow ataraxia was very funny you know it it, it had like it, it had such a great mixture of both the comedy of, you know, the usual fate comedy that we are seeing in Carnival Phantasm, this type of comedy, and at the same time, the seriousness as well of the Holy Grail War, you know, the whole thing with Bazet and Angra Mayu, that thing. Um, both of them had like, it had like a mixture of it, like in the in the morning, in the day, as far as I can remember in Hollow Ataraxia, it's like, it was like in two sections, there was like that one visual novel section where there was like, you know, giving like a mysterious way like you know they were talk like you know introducing Bazette and like you know there was this whole mystery surrounding Angra Mayu and I think Karen also came yeah like the the sister in the church all that stuff in the like you know at night it was like a mysterious thing happening and then in the morning in the like you know part like it's, it's like all happy and everything we are like you know going to different places like you know having fun it's like a slice of life thing going on completely and um, like you know we like met like a lot of things, scenarios involving so many different characters, media, um, uh, Lancer, um, and all the other, like, you know, uh, Rider, uh, Saber, all that stuff. <clears throat> so it was, it was such a joy to actually play that, like, you know, having both comedy, this lighthearted part of fate and the dark and gritty part of fate as well in the, like, you know, at, at night, like it, it was a real joy. Anyways, I went on a completely different um, tangent. But yeah, the, that, the thing that I was saying here is like, yeah, that 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 dress is obviously like the one that Lancer wore in all interaction. And I I wonder why they have not introduced this in FGO, like, you know, this dress that Lancer wears. They could have just, you know, added that as a costume. Like, that would be cool. <laughs> you know, Lancer just, just, you know, fishing with that dress. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, okay, so 
So yeah, here uh, you know like uh, we see uh, Balsa Karkun go on an errand. He defeats each and every character. It was really nice to see, really fresh to see actually Gilgamesh getting defeated. You know, at the beginning, and like he was the first servant that he defeated, and he didn't even want to defeat him. He just like you know swung his mm, the club that he had, and it just like crushed Gilgamesh <clears throat> when Gilgamesh was um, distracted. And I have to say. Um, I don't know if they did this deliberately, but it's like, you know, if you remember in Fate Stay Night, Gilgamesh is the one, it was Gilgamesh, wasn't it, who killed Lazarit and the other homunculus. Uh, I don't remember her name. Was it Stella? What was her name? I forgot. I, I, it was something. Anyways, I'll check it out later on. Uh, you know, uh, Ilya's, uh, uh, the Hound Clothes, that, th both of them, that was with Ilya. Um, as far as I can remember, it was Gilgamesh who killed them, yeah. And <laughs> I don't know if they did this deliberately here, but it's, it's actually nice to see that Lizard tries to stop Gilgamesh, and when he's distracted, Bazaar actually kills Gilgamesh. So basically, all the characters that were killed by Gilgamesh in the story, <laughs> they kind of like you know take the revenge in a way I, I i guess in this episode where they actually defeat gilgamesh <laughs> i don't know i don't know if that was deliberate but that was kind of nice and um <clears throat> yeah and then we meet obviously we meet lancer kun lancer kun um you know like <laughs> bazaka mistakes him to be a dog and he's just having fun with him unfortunately bazaka's having fun is a bit extreme so he almost kills lancer but you know he keeps him alive almost at, up, up, up until the end all the other different servants gets defeated one after the other saber um uh rider and then you know caster all the all of them gets defeated one after the other then archer also gets defeated <laughs> and bazaar kurkun finally you know gets hold of the no, um, no, yeah, uh, he defeats all of the characters and kills Lancer, right, you know. <laughs> like, all the, all the characters get defeated, but he just straight up kills Lancer. <laughs> and obviously because of that, you know, all the participants are gone, he wins the Holy Grail. And, um, yeah, the Holy Grail, he takes it back to Ilya, Ilya's like, what is this, I want my batteries. Uh, and then the Holy Grail is like, okay, here you go, here's the batteries. <laughs> oh my god, Ilya's like, no, this is not even the right one, but it's too late. But yeah, that was really funny. Oh my god. I, as I said, I kind of had fake recollection of this, but I forgot all the details. But yeah, it's nice to see this episode. My god. And there's, an, there's I think, two more um, sections I have vague recollection on. Uh, one of them is... Um, the date that's going to happen after this, uh, the harem root date. <laughs> Another one is the, I think there's like a little race that happens. I remember that scene, um, the whole pun with Bazakar, Bazakar and Bazakar. <laughs> that pun was so bad, I remember it still. <laughs> it's so bad, it's that, you know, it's so bad that it's so good. That type of a thing. And there's another instance I remember is uh, Say Hai Kun, Grail Kun, where everyone comes to Grail. It's like a Doraemon parody. As far now I know it. At that moment, I did not realize that was a Doraemon parody. And <laughs> uh, these these three are the only instances I remember. Other than that, I don't really remember anything else. So these were like these were so impactful. I actually remember it still, even after six years. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to those episodes. So yeah, anyways, that was it. That was this episode. Oh, and in the end, we get the little, uh, the real one, the, you know, the Taiga section. Like, I have to say, I really like Taiga in this dress, you know, like this, um, uh, this, uh, this teacher dress, you know, with the, with the suit and the, the stockings and the, you know, lipstick. I really like this. <laughs> My God. But yeah, anyways, um, so yeah, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction to um, uh, Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number five. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know and I'll definitely check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching 
and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of fate carnival phantasm so until then goodbye and have a nice day